praise the Lord welcome to warfare mindsets and today we're going to pray against the spirit of anxiety um, we're going to spend time dealing with the spirit of anxiety uh, many Christians unfortunately have been imprisoned by their anxieties and and many times we are imprisoned by our anxieties because of our desires or met desires and what anxiety does is that it causes a heightening of panic and worry you know the spirit of anxiety is an expert at magnifying the problem above the solution so all the anxious person sees is the problem and they never see the solution and they make that spirit of anxiety makes the problem bigger than Goliath and makes you think that God is absent, God has forgot, forgotten you. So anxiety focuses on the problem. And the more you focus on the problem, is the more the problem is empowered. And the spirit of anxiety is a mind control spirit. It exists in the mind. Now the Bible tells us, in the book of 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7 for God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind and of a sound mind a mind that is being attacked and harassed constantly by anxious thoughts and anxiety is not a sound mind so there is the spirit of anxiety that projects thoughts into the victim and the victim is always anxious and when people are anxious, and this is uh, getting more common among believers, among Christians. And when people are anxious, they don't have rest and they don't have peace. And it's so easy for them to fall into a state of depression. The Bible says in Philippians 4 verse 6, be anxious for nothing. In other words, there is nothing worth being anxious for be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving thanksgiving make your request known unto god and the peace of god that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind in christ jesus so it's the peace of god that will guard your heart and mind and the mind is the theater of anxious thoughts anxiety uh, wages warfare on our mind so the spirit of anxiety is a spirit of mind warfare so there is mind warfare and you have to render every contrary thought every anxious thought captive to the obedience of Christ in this warfare and the Bible tells us the peace of God that passes all understanding that passes all understanding will guard your heart and mind so our mind needs to be guarded. Our, our mind needs a hedge of protection against the spirit um, of anxiety. Because what that spirit does is that it will make the person go from pillar to post looking for solutions. Going from running helter skelter looking for solutions. So anxiety, uh, if you're not careful... You know, it will push you to look for a solution outside the will of God. You know, because you just want to satisfy that need. And so it will push you to look for a solution um, outside of God, outside God's will. And bear in mind, God is the solution. God provided the solution in Jesus Christ. The Bible says God has not given us a spirit of fear. Fear and anxiety, they work together but of love, power, and a sound mind. A mind that is ridden with anxiety is not a sound mind. So that does not come from God. Anxiety breeds worry. And worry is an indication of a lack of trust in God. People that trust God don't worry. They don't worry. Because their faith is in God. Now, the Bible tells us in the book of of um, Hebrews 11 verse 6 that without faith it is impossible to please God so we're going to need faith in the word of God because it is the word of God that we put a hedge 
around our mind, the hedge of protection. Now, what does the word of God say? In Matthew chapter 6, Jesus says in verse 33, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things will be added unto you. But prior to that, Jesus begins to talk about worry. And he says, he says, do not worry about what you will wear or what you will eat. You know, which of you by worrying can add hair to his head? So Jesus begins to tell us about the dangers of worry. And he says, you know what? People that worry are like the pagans, like the Gentiles. Why should we worry when we have a father that can meet all our needs? And our needs are not... Um, limited to material needs remember god is the jehovah jireh the provider so he will meet all your needs what are you worried about he's not only going to meet your material needs he will meet your spiritual needs so the jehovah jireh supplies our needs he will supply the peace that you need but you have to ask him for it ask and you shall receive he will supply the peace that you need the rest that you need even the faith that you need, the grace that you need. He provides all these things, contentment. And that's another area where um, a lack of contentment, if care is not taken, it can snowball into anxiety and before you know it, the person is taking antidepressants. May that not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, there is an interesting scripture and that scripture would help us not to worry, not to wear anxiety as a garment. It is found in John chapter 8 and it is verse 32. Verse 32 of John chapter 8. I'm sorry, I'm not a man used to using a tablet and the phone for my Bible. I carry this Bible, um, my Bible with me. John 8 verse 32, I read. Hallelujah. We are nine. John chapter 8. Pardon me, let me get my... Um, sorry, Romans chapter 8. Romans chapter 8. Pardon me. Romans chapter 8, I read verse 32. He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So he did not spare his own son, Jesus Christ. The Bible is saying, if he did not spare his son, Jesus Christ, for your sake, how can he not, along with Jesus, give you every other thing? He gave you his greatest gifts, the best gifts. Every other thing is secondary, so he will give to you. The Spirit of God is saying that, don't be anxious in this season. Yes, Jesus says, in this world you will have trouble, and trouble can make you anxious. In John 16 verse 33, he says, in this world you will have tribulation, but take courage, take heart. I have overcome the world. In me you will have peace. Why is he saying that? Because the peace of Christ is the antidote to the troubles of the world. And when you have the peace of Christ, anxiety starts to fizzle out. It starts to lose its strength. Remember, the Bible says in Psalm 24, verse 1, The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. He founded it upon the seas and he established it upon the floods. So the whole earth belongs to the Lord. The gold and the silver belong to the Lord, our Lord God. He owns the cattle on a thousand, thousand hills. So everything is his. And you are his child. He will provide for you. You know, there is a waiting period. In that waiting period, don't be anxious for anything. In that waiting period, just persevere. So now, two things are going to help us in the battle against the spirit of anxiety. Yes, we will bind that demon. Yes, we will cast out that demon. But remember, God is a God of principles. And he has given us weapons of warfare. And one weapon we have is the word of God. It's a two-edged sword. Sharper than a two-edged sword. So we have to use the word of God. We must apply the word of God, not only against the enemy, but to ourselves. And so two things that will help us, of course, there are many things that would help us against the spirit of anxiety is one, begin to develop and cultivate a heart of gratitude. A heart of gratitude. Don't um, be an ungrateful person. You know, 
There's this song that says, Whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say that it is well, it is well with my soul. Whatever my lot, I'm not going to be anxious. The Lord has taught me to say that it is well with my soul. Gratitude. So develop a uh, an attitude of gratitude, it will begin to um, sink the spirit of depression. And not avoid complaining. In fact, complaining only aids and abets the um, uh, anxiety. And then another thing you're going to need, um, in addition to gratitude, is faith. Is faith. People that have faith, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So once your faith is in God, faith tells you that with God all things are possible. So there's no need to worry. Faith tells you that, you know what? I'm hoping for this thing. It's, it's the substance of things hoped for. And because you're hoping for it in Christ, it is settled in your spirits. And you just wait on the Lord. Faith waits on the Lord. Remember, faith is that thing that puts its trust in what cannot be proven. That's it. Faith is that thing that does not work with sights. So faith puts its trust in something that cannot be absolutely proven. And so you're going to have to trust God even when you can't trace Him. And as you develop this mindset, because remember, the battle against anxiety is a... Um, warfare battle in the mind it's mind warfare this is the spirit spirit of anxiety attacks the mind it's like a mind control spirit and so we're going to pray today against that spirit let us pray father in the name of jesus i bring my brother and i bring my sister before your throne of grace that anyone battling anxiety battling depression battling fear Lord, according to your word, uh, no man can enter the strong man's house except he first bind him. Uh, and then he can enter the house and strip him of his armor wherein he trusted and plunder his goods. So Lord, today in the name of Jesus, I come against the spirit of anxiety. I come against the spirit of fear and worry. I come against the spirit of depression. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I take authority over this spirit uh, and I rebuke you depression in the name of Jesus. Uh, I rebuke you, anxiety, in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is against you. I bind you in the name of Jesus. Every anxiety in my brother, every anxiety in my sister, I command you in Jesus' name, be gone. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Let the word of God begin to permeate your mind. Let the word of the Lord begin to fill your heart. Let the word of victory and the word of peace and the spirit of joy begin to overtake you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Every agenda of anxiety, everything that causes you to be anxious, uh, today in the name of Jesus Christ, uh, I uproot uh, the root of anxiety. Uh, I uproot it from your life. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, I say, peace, be still, and know that he is Lord. I speak the peace of God to every storm and every raging sea in your life. I speak peace. In the name of Jesus. The Bible says that shouts of joy and victory resound in the tents of the righteous of the Lord. You receive the victory now over anxiety. That thing that is troubling you, ah, that thing will trouble you no more. That thing that is troubling you, that keeps you up at night, all night. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I take authority over that thing and I command that thing to leave you. In the name of Jesus, I break the power of that thing over your life. I break the power of that thing over your life. I break that demonic spell. I release your mind from every demon of anxiety in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. I break the power of Satan over the mind of my brother and my sister. Lord, deliver them. 
Lord, let your deliverance fire begin to flow right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, Lord, let the fire of deliverance, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Father, let your fire of deliverance begin to flow, oh God, and purge every mind that is struggling with fear and anxiety. I thank you, Jesus. You're the only one that can give peace that no man can take away. You're the only one that can give a peace that the world cannot take away. Jesus, let your peace rest upon them. I thank you, Father, that you are restoring my brother. I thank you, Lord, that you're restoring my sister, that they will not give in to anxiety, that they will not light their own fires, that they will wait upon you, that they will wait on the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father, that their heart, the enemy will not trouble their heart anymore. Because even though that vision tarry, though it linger, Father, because you are faithful and you do not lie, that vision will surely come to pass. Raise up help us for them. Lord, I ask in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Be encouraged. Stay in the word of God. Be in prayer. Saturate your mind and spirit with the word of God. Let the peace of God be with you. You are not a candidate for depression. You are not a candidate for anxiety. God bless you. My name is Idemudia Gobadia, and the Lord raised me up for such a time as this to encourage the people of God, to encourage the people of God, to strengthen them in the faith. You will be getting more of these messages that will build you up in the faith and that will help you develop the right mindset because greater is the one that is in us than the one that is in the world and the one that is in the world will do everything to mess with your mind let the hedge of god's protection and the seal of the holy spirit be upon your mind let the blood of jesus saturate your mind god bless you my brother and sister I love you deeply with the love of Jesus Christ. If you've not done so, hit that subscribe button for more of these messages and share. Bless you.